Hi, God bless you, and thank you for your interest in the tribe of Judah, bamboo flutes. This particular flute is a sweet B. Um, it's tuned to a pentatonic minor. However, you can apply this principle to any of the inblown recorder style flutes that I make. Uh, just learn from this video and transfer it over and it'll apply just the same. Now, the flutes are tuned in a pentatonic minor scale. So this one being in a B minor pentatonic, it will also play in the key of D major. You can find D major notes on this flute as well. All right, so one of the first things I would say to do is make sure that you're not playing like a typewriter, putting your fingers pointing downwards on the holes like this, but make sure that you're using the padded portion of your finger to cover the hole completely. If you do not cover the hole completely, uh, you can get uh, just the wrong note. It's squeak sometimes, but squeaks can be good if you want those effects. That They can sound good with certain uh, beautiful reverbs and delays. I use them in worship from time to time. Now, the lowest note is gonna be here, and the octave note is gonna be here, or the five holes open, okay? So when you're starting, I always recommend start at the top and just get the sound first. All you're doing is just putting your mouth right here and blowing in, okay? You don't have to learn how to form your lips like you're playing a transverse style flute. You just press and seal and and you got the sound. Once you get the sound, then start going down. That's a little rhyme to remember. Once you got the sound, then start going down on the scale. So we're gonna cover it one by one really quick. And if you've reached the bottom note on the flute, it's particularly on the longer flutes that are lower, deeper sounds like the F sharp warrior flute or F or even an E flute, uh, the longer they are, uh, it can be more sensitive to the amount of breath that you put in the instrument to make the low note sound. Uh, the way I always explain it to people is that when you're playing the flute, just think of it like when you're on the upper notes, you're, you're soaring like a plane. And when you want to land, you know, you want to cut the throttle back a little bit and, and bring that plane down for a landing. So you do that with your breath and you can lower your breath a little bit on the lower notes, not as much force with your breath. So let's start with the top and go down and then I'll cover techniques really quick. Okay, there, if you've got this note on the bottom, you're just blowing too hard. That's this note, the octave note. That's all holes except for the top one. All holes open except top, okay? Now, so we go back up the scale. And I'm doing articulation. Articulation is tot, 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 or whatever you want to articulate with your tongue. Uh, the staccato notes, we call them in music. Toot, 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 tot, tot, however you want to do it. Legato notes are connected notes. That means there's no articulation with the tongue between the note. It's like uh, connected. Just one breath. And then you can also combine the two. Okay. This is a bending technique, and I really like to use this technique. You take the note and you roll off the, your finger off of it just a little bit. And what you're doing, we call it a half note. Or you're, you know, you've seen trombone players, they take the slide. That's what you're doing with the note. You're making it go up or down. And you can do that on any of these holes that you want to do that with. So here's how it sounds. So when you do that quicker or slower, you can get a really neat effect and add that to your style with playing it. Uh, I call it a trill. Now I got that note on this flute by blowing harder. 
Okay. Now, not every flute, uh, this one particular, sweet B, will play up to this note right here. We're going to go up the scale, and then this is it for the sweet B flute, okay? Uh, some other flutes that I do make um, can go up into the higher registry of notes, higher, further up into what we call the octave range. Uh, but in general, most of these flutes are about one and a half octave range. So if you need more than that, let me know and we can work one out for you. All right, so the bending of the notes, the trill and the music, uh, staccato, tut, 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 and legato, one breath. Vibrato is controlled by fluctuation in your breath pressure. So when you hear this, it's simply pushing with your breath. So you're making a vibrato. If you could see a musical wave, you would see it fluctuate like this when you're pushing. And, and music, um, it's all depending on your taste. You can add vibrato at the very beginning of a note, at the middle of the note, or at the tail end of the note. Just how you want to play the instrument. Uh, what else can we do with the flute? Uh, I call it gurgling. Like when you gurgle water, you, you know, just make a growl sound into the flute. And it sounds very interesting. Uh, another thing is to take your twosies, just I call them twosies, and you just quickly release twos. Those work well. Okay, and let's see. Now this is, I'm covering on the minor scale, and again, this will transfer over whatever flute you would have, whether it be a longer one, deeper sounding one, or even a shorter one than this, it'll transfer over. The principle is the same for all the inblown recorder flutes that I make. Let's just put some of this into practice. Uh, and another thing, this is the, the block where the air comes through and you blow in the end, the air comes through and then over the tone hole makes the whistle sound, okay? Moisture from your hot breath going in can collect under this block. If for some reason you're playing the flute and it, it just stops sounding notes and it could be, I don't know, I've not had it happen to me, I've played for 30 minutes, but if it does happen to you and the, it doesn't sound correct or like the high notes doesn't sound, the low note doesn't sound, it could be that water has gotten formed under this block. Simple solution, just let it dry out or just give it a really quick hard blow and see if there is any water from your breath that comes out of here. And that'll help to clean it up. Just like that. Okay, let's go over a little bit of a melody here and practice this. You know what I just did? I forgot to show you what I like to do. It's releasing notes above like this real quick. See how I did that? I just went and I'm kind of getting a balance between putting the, my pinky down and my thumb up just so I can balance the flute so there's something to hold on to. I'm not covering anything else. That was done by this. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So I just went really quick, went da 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 okay. That is the simple B minor pentatonic scale. The major scale, I'm going to show you a little bit how on this flute to play the D major scale, and I'm going to use the song Amazing Grace to show you how to play it. Now, 
again, this is a principle, transfer it over to your other flute. If you have a longer one or shorter one, this will transfer, all right? Here. Okay. Amazing grace. Okay. That was just a quick trill. Da da da. Half note, because you got to go the sound. Okay. See the bend? A few extra notes in there. Half note again. See, I came down with that. I slowly brought that back down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you again for your interest in the Tribe of Judah Bamboo Flutes. And if you would like a painted model, I also paint these. And if you have a custom scale request, I can do custom musical scales at a custom price. So let me know what your questions are. Put it into the comments on the video and I'll be happy to respond to you and also to make you a flute. God bless you. Thank you again. Sweet bee flute.